Hi Pilipinas at Hello World! Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Inspire Life, and click that bell button so you will be informed in all our updates and uploads. Like, comment, and share our videos. Ayan po. So, sa ngayon, ang ating pong uh, i-update ay ang Mayon Volcano dahil nasa alert level 2 na po siya according to yesterday's Mayon Volcano Advisory. So, this is to uh, notify the public and concerned authorities on the current activity of Mayon Volcano according to uh, Phil Vox. Since the end of magmatic eruption in March 2018, Mayon Volcano has exhibited declining earthquake activity and sulfur dioxide emission. However, a slight swelling or inflation of the edifice began in February 2019 based on continuous GPS and electronic tilt monitoring. Ayan po ang report nila. No po? These observations indicate that Mayon's recent behavior has been mainly driven by changes occurring within magma already in place beneath the edifice rather than by renewed magma intrusion events. In the past two days, crater glow has been detected at the summit crater that is likely caused by hot magmatic gases heating the overlying atmosphere and this suggests the possibility that remnant magma may be quietly rising to the shallow levels of the edifice. Ayan. So, DOST Pavox reiterates that alert level 2 is still currently prevails over Mayon because the volcano is still at a moderate level of unrest. It is therefore strongly recommended that entry into the 6km radius permanent danger zone or PDZ and a precautionary 7 km radius extended danger zone or EDZ in the south southwest to east southeast sector stretching from Anuling, Kamalig to Santa Misericordia, Santo Domingo should be strictly prohibited. The public is reminded that sudden explosions, lava collapse, cyclo Plastic density currents or PDCs and ash fall can occur without warning and threaten areas in the upper to middle slopes of Mayon. People residing close to these danger areas also advise to observe precautions against rock falls and uh, active stream river channels and those identified as perennially lahar prone areas on all sectors of the volcano should also be avoided especially during extreme weather conditions when there is heavy and prolonged rainfall. Ayan po. So meaning, uh, mag-ingat-ingat lang po tayo sa uh, paglapit sa Mayon Volcano kung nandiyan po kayo malapit sa Mayon Volcano. Makikita po ang mga larawan ng uh, Mayon Volcano although this was shot by our photographers, uh, our friends, uh, and uh, we give courtesy to all the photographers who made this possible. Yan, maraming maraming salamat po. Napakaganda ng Mayan Volcano. And I wanted to go there now. Yan, para makita din ang mga uh, glow ng ng uh, Mayon, di ba? Usually kasi mga, mas maraming pumupuntang turista kapag ganitong mga nag uh, uh, irap ang mga volcano. Sa iba't ibang bansa, uh, may mga parang science discovery na ginagawa parang tourism site din po nila ito. So, it is also a learning um, uh, thing for us to know uh, what is volcano all about, ano ang proseso ng uh, pag erupt ng isang volcano iba't iba ang kanilang characteristics according to some volcanologists that I have seen and uh, nagre-research po tayo sa 
mga kalagayan ng mga volcanoes, especially sa Taal at sa Mayon at sa iba't ibang pang mga volcanoes na later on ay ilalahad natin dito sa Inspire Life dahil ang ganda-ganda po bagamat uh, mahirap din sila parang mga tao din sila ba? Diba? so yan po at uh, makikita natin ang kagandahan at uh, very awesome uh, photos of uh, Mayon Volcano and I hope you enjoy have a happy day and uh, awesome day to all of you and we're glad that uh, this one is Mayon Volcano, the, pic the picturesque Mayon Volcano. Yan po napakaganda. So, alert level 2 po siya. So, mag-ingat-ingat po ang lahat na dyan. So, we are from Inspire Life. This is Juliet Cruz reporting. And uh, we are your bridge to your dreams and aspirations. Thank you very much po.